the race to elect the next mayor of Canada's biggest city is heating up. Advanced voting, voting starts this week in Toronto, and voters will not be short on options with no fewer than 102 candidates on that ballot. Five of the top candidates for mayor were at our broadcast center this morning, and they took part in the CBC's Toronto mayoral debate. Megan Fitzpatrick was listening in. Five out of the 102 candidates took part in today's debate, and some of the questions were kind of lighthearted, aimed at getting to know the candidates personally, asking them things like some of their favorite spots around the city. But then there was a lot of discussion around big policy issues and some of the big challenges facing the city of Toronto right now. So some of the questions were about how they would go about building affordable housing in this city, about public safety, a big issue in this city right now, particularly on public transit on the TTC, how to tackle traffic congestion, how to deal with Toronto's budget and the massive shortfall that it's currently facing, and issues too like whether they would support drinking alcohol in public parks. The candidates spent time uh, defending their records, putting forth their ideas, touting their experience and their leadership qualities, all while taking some swipes at each other. There were some heated exchanges among the candidates, uh, particularly one between Mark Saunders, who accused Olivia Chow of being anti police, also Anna Bailau and Josh Matlow having some heated exchanges as well. Here's a little bit of what that looked and sounded like. Think about, about safety. Your relationship Mark, as mayor, me, just as mayor your relationship with the Toronto Police Service, even when you're on the board, Mark, listen, you're extremely Mark, negative. Mark, you tried to bro- just hang on a second. You, you Being broke a the law trying to break listening. a line listening and you were supposed and to be a leader when it comes to Allow policing. me to finish. Okay. I need I, you to ask a question. Yes, Anna. how is he going to get an agenda, a plan through council? Because you can't work with council, you can't work with builders, with the private sector, you can't work with the nonprofit sector. We had 140 Merton, which thank, is, thank you, thank which you, is a, a, a the, um, non-profit the, the reality is, we the had reality to fight is, for I, listen, it, it's, I think it's important to debate during an election. Olivia Chow, a former city councillor and a former federal member of parliament, has been leading in recent polls. So not a surprise, she was a bit of a target today. Quite a few of the candidates going out of their way to challenge her, particularly on the issue of property taxes and how much she would raise them by if she became mayor. They were challenging her to put a specific number on it, uh, which she didn't, explaining that uh, the way she would do a budget is different than how it's done now, and it would be premature to put a specific number on it. Um, Now, some of the other candidates include uh, Josh Matlow there, who is a a current city councillor. Anna Bailau is a former city councillor. Mitzi Hunter is a former member of the provincial parliament. She just recently stepped down in order to run in this race. And then Mark Saunders, a former Toronto police chief. So they all do have records in different ways that they were attacking each other over. And this uh, timing of the debate is pretty critical. It comes just two days before advanced voting starts in the city, all leading up to the big by-election date on June 26th. Megan Fitzpatrick, CBC News, Toronto.